students, I am Dr. Tanma Vishwash. Welcome you all in my channel, Chemistry, the Mystery of Molecules. So today I shall describe a multiple choice question presented in front of you. Reaction of this diacid with uh, palladium hydrogen, what is the product? Four options are provided, one of them correct answer. So I shall be very happy if you pause the video and try by yourself and write your answer in the comment box. Definitely after some time I shall provide the answer. Now let us go to the discussion. So see what happens, this when this palladium reacts with uh, this diacid, better to say this malic acid. So what it produces? It produces this succinic acid derivative. Okay. So this is the product only th that this carbon carbon double bond is getting reduced, but this carboxyl group are remain unaffected. So this is the answer now the question why this happened. In order to understand this, you need to understand the mechanism for hydrogenation of by palladium. By the way, I have already described this palladium mediated hydrogenation mechanism in details. This so you may visit that video. Here I shall explain very briefly. So first this hydrogen get reacted with palladium and activated. This palladium hydrogen bond formation happened. Second, this alkene also react with this palladium. It is a heterogeneous catalyst. I am showing it is a palladium bed. So react and they get reacted on this and secondly what they do this carbon hydro carbon palladium bond and palladium hydrogen bond react together and produces this carbon hydrogen bond first step of reduction similar way the second step of reduction happens between this hydrogen and this palladium carbon bond and in this way this succinic acid derivative produce and it will come out from the reaction medium and this palladium catalyst is regenerated so this is the overall process for heterogeneous similar thing you can observe in case of homogeneous advantage of homogeneous is that you can understand the reactivity clearly so in in this case palladium this hydrogen are added to this so palladium 0 is our starting material it react with hydrogen to produce palladium 2 in this case you can see palladium is getting oxidized and hydrogen is getting reduced so it means like a you may consider it's a hydride type formation secondly what happens this uh, alkene also get attached to this palladium by coordination and this hydrogen first goes and form bond with this carbon and in this way carbon palladium carbon and another hydrogen is produced another hydride is remain. So, then this hydride and this bond react further and produces this, uh, this succinic acid derivative. So, this is a very brief explanation about the mechanism. So, we understand the product. Now, uh, we understand what is the product. This is only sorry not this one only this one means this di acid will remain unreacted only the CZ double bond will be reduced. Now, question um, why not the other option? For example, palladium hydrogen, this palladium hydride, this electronegativity difference between palladium and hydrogen very less. So consequently, you can say this bond is not that much polar, this palladium hydrogen bond just sometime before we have shown. So consequently, if it is very less polar, it is stable in many organic solvent. So you can use this concept of reduction of palladium using hydrogen in many organic solvent. The chemical chemistry will not be affected that much, point number one. Second, since this electronegativity is different they have significant covalency means less polar so you can consider it is less polar so if it is less polar it will prefer to reduce less polar bond like this carbon carbon double bond or carbon carbon triple bond okay now question so what happens about this coh see coh are very polar group so consequently this palladium hydrogen generally can't reduce this coh efficiently for that purpose you can choose another reagent like lithium aluminium hydride we know know that this lithium aluminum hydride is very polar and consequently they react this uh, LDH, this carboxylic acid and ultimately convert into alcohol. Not only that if you take bulky lithium aluminum hydride or bulky aluminum hydride like dibal, you can get selective reduction to aldehyde also. So consequently the answer is only this double bond will be reduced no other thing means not this dialdehyde here carboxylic acid is reduced to aldehyde not possible carboxylic acid is reduced to alcohol not possible in this case both are reduced to alcohol so both are not possible okay. So this is the thing so we understood why palladium is that much useful because first of all its polarity is difference and second thing it can absorb huge amount of hydrogen why because this palladium uh, their property is closer to hydrogen so palladium can donate its electron density 
to the sigma star of hydrogen and form this hydride and that is why hydrogen gas it adsorb on the surface very so consequently what happened. So, this reaction happened easily second thing you understand try to understand this hydrogen is a gas. So, you are dealing with a gas molecule and this acid is solid or since it is reaction is happening. So, it is in solution. So, solution means it is in liquid phase. So, in this liquid phase if you consider that how a gas will react in a liquid phase. So, somebody needed who will adsorb this hydrogen and bring it to the liquid phase and palladium as a catalyst does this job because it adsorb hydrogen very efficiently. So, it brings the hydrogen from gaseous phase into the liquid phase and to for a chemical reaction to occur both reactor need to become in the same phase point number one and second they need to come closer with proper conformational orientation such that bond formation can happen and catalyst plays the role. So, in this case palladium is useful for two reasons. First of all it adsorbs this hydrogen and activate it. Second thing it also uh, react with this alkene because alkene also get uncoordinated to the palladium. So, both reagent come closer together and reaction happens very efficiently. So, what you have learned in conclusion, conclusion how palladium activates I have explained and this electronegative value you can see palladium having electronegativity 2.2 hydrogen is 2.1. So, you may consider this electronegativity is almost closer together. Second thing because of low low polarity of this palladium hydrogen bond they are selective for carbon carbon double bond and triple bond and remember this is palladium is a very excellent material for huge amount hydrogen gas adsorption in on the surface. Nowadays in science there is a there is a big issue we need a material which can adsorb hydrogen efficiently palladium is one of the best choice, but it has some limitation why because see it is a versatile or multi talented element you can consider, but it is found very less amount in earth second thing it is toxic to the environment. So, that is why this restricts us to use palladium in every case. So, we must be wise enough before we select this palladium for any chemical transformation. What do I mean? If you have another reagent which can perform this job and palladium also can per palladium or palladium hydrogen can perform this job, we have we should prefer to focus on the alternate one because this palladium we have very less and very efficient and this is one of the concept of green chemistry or sustainable chemistry which is a hot topic nowadays in order to counter the pollution created by chemicals or chemical industry ok. So, this is the end of this discussion thank you everyone for watching. So, if you like my content please like comment share and subscribe my channel. See you